Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have season three, episode four of The Mandalorian. Um, last week was a really good episode. It's very interesting. Definitely setting up a much bigger plot line. Um, more stuff to come in the future. Um, very interesting to see where we go with Bo-Katan as well. Now that she's part of the, you know, part of the crew. Um, will she break that? Probably. Will she try and team the Mythosaur and go against people? Probably. So we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be chaos, but I'm here for it. We love the Mandalorians, so let's get into the episode. The also, this episode doesn't have a title name yet, which is interesting. I wonder if they're trying to hide a spoiler. <laughs> is the episode called The Mythosaur? <laughs> no, I feel like The Mythosaur is probably going to end up being like a cliffhanger at the end of the season. Whoa, Mando training. This is fun. I love all the colors. They're all so different and cool. Not as colorful as Sabine, but... Oh, the baby! The baby! The only one that doesn't have to wear a helmet. Oh, he's training! My baby! It's time that you learn with the other foundlings. Oh, really? Aw, he like uppies! Uppies! <laughs> so he's actually gonna learn with the other Mandos? That's cool. Oh my god, they were all crap. <laughs> Was he using the force or were they just moving? Or was he holding the crabs hostage? Who knows? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Judge. I don't know how well this is gonna go. The kid's just gonna kick him. He challenges. <laughs> Small. Proceed. Okay, I'm a little nervous. He's just gonna use the force. Yeah, debatable. One does not speak unless one knows. Is that not the creed? Oh! Perhaps this lesson is for you then. Damn, Din! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, you did you did you put you? <laughs> My dad was the same way. He's just proud of you. Oh, Bo! Look at his little wrist! He's so cute! <laughs> in any order. <laughs> it scores one point. <laughs> must be visible to score. He's like, I got this, Dad. To launch the darts. <laughs> point. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at him. I've seen what you can do. It's okay. Show them. You're allowed. Oh my god, is he gonna go all like full force jump and spin and shit? Ready. Come on, Grogu! Whoa! Let's go! Oh! Triple! <laughs> Way! Not me. Great job, kid. His little like front flip and then back flip and then he just like plonks himself down. <laughs> that kid just got go snatched. It to its lair. Damn, I love seeing a group of Mandos flying together. It's so cool. Damn, this thing's going far. Take Grogu with you and get him to like there's magic and calm him, tame him. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's go, Bo. Here to save the day with a ship. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty view. Bum, 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 the findling. I don't know if the findling is talking about the boy that the, the big dragon dinosaur thing has got or whether we're talking about Grogu if you wish to become a Mandalorian there is much work 
to attend to it. Oh. Oh, you little you 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 you. His walk is the cutest fucking thing. I feel like this is about to become my favorite episode. It's very like Grogu oriented and I'm so here for it. I guess the foundling kind of refers to both of the kids, I guess. Why does he look terrified? We refine ourselves. Oh, we little teeth. You're traumatizing the child. Loud noises. His dad isn't here. Oh. Oh, he's remembering. Oh. Hello, boys. The to Kellerin. Go! Kellerin? Uh, are we gonna see who saves him or is he just gonna save himself? Which honestly I could see happening. Everything's gonna be alright, kid. Oh their voices! Their voices! Oh dude, this dude's cool! Hi, I'm just dropping this into the episode because uh, a lot of the time recently people like to jump to my comments and try to tell me very obvious things that I already talk about either further in the video or whatever. I know this is Ahmed Best. I didn't realize at the time I explained this at the end of my video, so please don't jump in the comments being like, oh my god, you didn't recognize Ahmed Best. I recognized the face, couldn't put a, uh, a name to the face because I struggled to do that. I'm neurodivergent. I cannot put faces to names or names to faces. So please don't jump to my comments trying to explain the simplest things to me like a lot of people have done in the past couple of episodes. People have been like, oh, did you know this, this? And it's like, yes, I talked about this. I literally said it in my video. So please just, yeah. Okay, bye. Whoa. Oh, hearing Tam's voice. Dude, I love this dude. Oh, Tem. You know, whoever this guy is, I love him. Not just because he's cool, but he's saved Krogu. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad it's someone that we don't know. I feel like that makes it better. Personally. This is cool, though. Good soldiers follow orders. <laughs> Oh my god, he's hanging out of that thing. Grogu, please at least close your little your little box. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to meet up with some friends of mine. But hold on. It's going to be a bumpy landing. Here are these friends of yours, huh? Yeah, that's a bumpy ride. You were right. Oh no. Okay, so he's Kellerin. Okay. Dude, this is like a really scary side of Order 66. Like... Oh, look at Coruscant. I love seeing it from above. Mom, you're scaring the boy. He's just a little guy. That was awesome, though. Are they giving him something? Yes, Mandalorian spear shall keep you safe as you grow stronger. You will grow into this rondel as you grow into your station, Foundling Grogu. <laughs> oh god that's so sweet he got armor is he just gonna... <laughs> oh god i can't believe it's got a little mud horn on it as well oh fuck 
He's matching his dad, no. God, I can't wait for them to like give him a helmet. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, for fuck's sake. What is this rule bullshit? <laughs> you are the leader of the war party. You have the honor of staying by the fire. Oh, that's nice. He gets the fire. Now, can we see Din take off his helmet? Or... What happens if, like, you've got your helmet off and someone walks around the corner? Is that their fault? Like, if you all know that you're eating, but someone, like, walks back to say, oh, I forgot something... Or, like, just, you know, you're on your own and someone just turns up. Like, is that your fault? Damn, I love she's leading them. I hope this gives her brownie points, especially from Vizsla. Because, you know, not exactly... I think there's a little bit of tension there. It really makes me so happy having so much Mandalorian content. And it's, like, not just having Din, but having multiple... Mandalorians just working together. It's just so cool. Just feel like we're back in Clone Wars and Rebels and... I just... Ah! I mean, if it's taken Mandalorians before, I'm hoping there's not gonna be a bunch of, like, armor and stuff, like, with, like, bones and shit. That's gonna be depressing. Oh, there is helmets. Oh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Wait until we clear the area. My son. Oh, it's his son. There's the confirmation. Ragnar. 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 That word feels familiar. That's not your son. That is not your son. Please don't spit up the helmet. Oh, no, just the whole kid. And now he's got both of them. Well, this is just fucking fantastic. I wonder if this is going to be end of uh, the end of Vizsla then. Oh. oh no, not the armor pieces. See, the, the sad thing is I don't want them to kill it because it has children too. I know it's stealing Mandalorians, but still. Like, what are they going to do? Kill the babies? Or are they just gonna wait for them to grow up and then kill them after they've eaten more Mandalorians? I just ah stress. Uh oh, kid, go bye bye. Oh, <laughs> this kid is gonna be traumatized for life. <laughs> Oh. This is the way. This is the way. <gasps> Show your dad your new armor, Grogu. Bo-Katan Kree, you have honored your house and all of Mandalore. You Yay! Have the highest honor of the Kree. We have brought you three more foundlings in need of care and training. Did they bring you? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> They can use them to ride. They can train them and ride them. How did they fit them on the ship? Where do they store them? Where were they? <laughs> oh, Grogu's gonna have a field day. Come with me. Shall I inlay the signet of the night owl? Would it be acceptable to wear one pauldron of the night owl and another with the mythos? The Mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. Damn. I mean, honestly, if that if it was me, I would go for that. I mean, I literally wear the necklace every day. So I mean I would I would choose that. I told you I saw one. Oh. A Mythosaur. I would say you are very lucky. It is a noble vision. Eh, not a vision. 
Oh, it's nice. I like that. It was real. Oh, she's just admitting straight up. She knows nobody's going to believe her. Oh, but didn't get... Oh, no, I wanted to see didn't get his... See Grogu's thing and... Ah... Uh... Well, what an episode, guys. What an episode. Holy shit. So, Grogu is making some improvements. So he is officially training to be Mandalorian. He's now got his little signet, his little armor piece with the mud horn on it to match his dad. And I think it's adorable. And I'm glad that he's well protected now with his chainmail and his piece of armor. Um, I am so happy um, to see that. Now we're getting more little creatures that he can, you know, play around with and tame and have fun. And I feel like those, those like baby dragon things, I feel like they're definitely going to train them up and then they're going to eventually use them for transport and like, you know, to, to ride and stuff. You know, I feel like that makes sense. I'm glad they didn't kill the babies and I'm glad they didn't kill the parent either. That was the big alligator boy that just fucking like nommed on his ass. Um... Glad the kid's okay. Bo-Katan did absolutely wonderfully this this episode. I mean, she always does, but she did wonderfully this episode. Um, it was great seeing her take charge and have people appreciate and respect her. Um, but I feel like now the armorer is just gonna think that she's crazy. I wish we had a name for the armorer. Like, I don't like calling her the armorer. It's a really hard word to say. Um... But I, I wish that we would have a name for her. But she's just like, yeah, yeah. You see, you, you, you saw a vision of a, a mythosaur. It's like, no, I saw a real one. This is the way, <laughs> bitch. I saw one. Um, so she's gonna have to find proof. She's gonna like. I feel like someone's gonna wrong her, and she's gonna be like, all right, fuck you. She's gonna leave, and then she's gonna come back right in the fucking mythosaur. And be like, bitch, bow down to me. Um, but yeah, we got to see Grogu's. Um escape from order 66 from the the temple on coruscant um and no what i didn't realize i knew i recognized the actor who was playing kellerin but i'm really bad with putting names to faces like i will know people by seeing them or i will know their name but when i see a face and have to put a name to it i always always struggle um it was Ahmed Best, my boy, my boy Jar Jar Binks got another fucking role in Star Wars and I'm so happy for him. The amount of shit that that man got put through for everything that went on within Star Wars and with Jar Jar Binks, he deserves this. He so deserves this. Ahmed Best, our boy, our boy, he saved Grogu. I love him. I thought he was a really cool character. I really like seeing him as a Jedi, actually, and... I hope we get to sort of explore more. And I, I did, when I, obviously I did Google this just before I, I talked about this um, because I wanted to see if he's ever appeared anywhere or like, you know, obviously I had to put a name to the face and stuff. And apparently he is um, in the Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge. So that's like the, I think that's the like show that Ahmed Best presents. So I'm assuming he had like a Jedi role in that he was given a jedi role which is kind of fucking cool that they've done that that's very cool so that's awesome to see and i'm like i said i'm very very happy that he got the role and um he deserves the world he really is such a sweet human and i'm very happy that he is in this and that he got to save grogu um so i'm very thankful to him um it was also oh 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 my goodness every time i hear tomorrow morrison like, I will just have a little mini inside freak out. Maybe not so much mini, but a huge inside and, I guess, outside freak out. Um, I love hearing his voice for the clones. Um, like, obviously, we're very used to having Dee Bradley Baker's voice for the clones. But when you see in live action and, you know, you hear Tamara Morrison's voice, it just makes it so much more intense. And it's like, oh, my God, that is that. That's the clones. That is the clones. So I'm glad that he was in this as well. That made me very happy. Um, and yeah, I, I like, I also will like to say that I do like Bo's new uh, shoulder piece. I like that it's got the myth sore on it and it looks very nice as well. So um, hope to see some cosplayers getting that one on the go. Um, but yeah, it was a very good episode. I was originally worried because it was a very short episode. I was like, oh, 33 minutes. That's very short. But honestly, this might be one of my favorite like Mando episodes of all time. Um, it was just beautiful, really well done. They fit a lot into the episode, but it didn't feel rushed. And it was just, 
it was just really good um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments let me know your opinion on who saved grogu like i said though i am glad that it's not someone that we know like i'm glad it wasn't like oh you know mace windu came back from you know the dead even though we don't know if he's actually dead or not or like you know i the only person i would have kind of liked it to be would be quinlan voss i guess but i'm glad it wasn't like yoda or like a big name like like i'm glad it wasn't like obi-wan or anything like that just because i like when we get introduced new characters the whole point of this show is the fact we got introduced to a new mandalorian that we've never met before um and a new jedi padawan force user oh, he's not really a jedi jedi obviously because you know he's never trained yeah he never got knighted but we've got this little this little green force user um who's brand new as well um like we've only ever seen in canon two of their kind so yeah i i i like that they've given a new jedi and it's not just some typical person that we know that's like oh, okay it's them again so i'm happy i'm glad i like it um but yeah let me know what you think uh, make sure you subscribe for more mandalorian content the next video coming up will be the bad batch um i'm really nervous about that so make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for that video too and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video so peace and may the force be with you this is the way <laughs> why did i look really creepy doing that I'm like this is the way <laughs>